Hello, everybody. Uh, we are excited to be coming here to you live from Distributec 2023. Uh, I, I'm here with um, Scott Tinkler from Accenture. Uh, and we are here to talk about the partnership that GE Digital and Accenture have come together on this week. We, at GE, we are absolutely excited about the possibilities of working with Accenture. Uh, so Scott, just to get us started, uh, how is, uh, just want to understand a bit about Accenture. Uh, how is Accenture helping utilities shape energy transition? Yeah, Mahesh, firstly, thank you so much for inviting me. I am um, very excited to be here. This is a great opportunity for us to demonstrate our partnership together, so I very much appreciate the invite. I'll just maybe start by saying uh, just a quick introduction. Um, I've been at Accenture for about 25 years, all in the utilities industry. I started my career at Accenture um, in the customer area, did a lot of large-scale customer programs, helped to deregulate both on the retail side and the wholesale side. Uh, wholesale side. Um, and then I spent, I'd say, the third part of my career really focusing on business transformation and helping our clients uh, with large-scale programs. I'd say over the past five years, um, I've really focused most of my effort and attention on helping to nurture and cultivate our um, energy transition practice. So this is a perfect topic and a, um, really a great opportunity for me to talk about our partnership, but as well as all the things that we do to advance the energy transition. Um, in terms of, let me just get right to the energy transition. In terms of what we focus on, I'd say historically we've really focused on a number of things in the past. That is um, promoting nuclear, um, and we do a lot of work in nuclear all across the globe, uh, focusing on renewable integration and grid resiliency. Those have been things that we've really focused on in, in the past and still today. Uh, that said, what we've really branched out and um, in, into over recent years has been a number of things, really helping our clients to decarbonize um, a, a number of things, their, their, um, their, their grid assets, their linear assets, um, their, um, all of their, you know, everything that they do around their office space and their properties, everything they do around supply chain, um, their generation assets, and their fleet. We're helping our clients decarbonize everything that they do within their operations. And not only that, we're helping our clients think through uh, how to do that for their own customers as well, both B2B customers and B2C customers. So that's kind of the first thing that we've been focusing on. The second thing is really to helping to strengthen and accelerate um, their focus on grid, especially in the in light of climate change and the impact on grid, as well as the increasing demands on the grid um, due to the bi-directional flows and, and so on and so forth. I'd say the third thing that we really are focusing on is helping, uh, helping our clients to bring new technologies to the market, as well as new business models. This could be around energy, excuse me, this could be around um, clean hydrogen, this could be around battery storage, this can be around industrial clusters um, and biofuels. Those are things that we're helping our clients to really think about when is the right time for me to get into that space. And lastly, we've been spending a, quite a bit of time helping our clients um, get access to IIJA, IRA, or um, European Green New Deal uh, funds. So this has been something that we've been doing over the past year, and it's really been something I believe can help accelerate the industry. So Scott, this is so exciting to like hear your perspective because there's such a natural synergy between the, our two companies because you, talk, you talked about influencing the strategy and also helping customers uh, deliver technology at scale. Uh, we at GA Digital and Grid Software, we have had the opportunity to uh, be in the transmission distribution space. Uh, we have the, uh, the honor of serving roughly 30% of the world's distribution companies and 40% of the world's transmission companies. Now with energy transition, there's a foundational change happening because I think electrification and decarbonization are going to scale. And uh, given the increasing complexities of energy transition, one of the ways is to apply software at scale. And uh, we've also realized that as we're going through this particular process, that energy transition is a, such an important uh, team sport, right? And right. There, is, uh, there is not one player who's going to, who, who has all the answers. And, and partnerships that we have, such as ours, are so critical to help our clients get to value. So, so thank you uh, yeah. for the partnership. Yeah, my pleasure. 
as uh, Scott, you've seen us uh, the, uh, well, this week, we have introduced a new uh, software portfolio focused on uh, grid orchestration. Grid OS, the GE team is absolutely excited uh, to be here and at Distributec getting, uh, unveiling that, uh, that software portfolio and getting a lot of very good feedback. So definitely what I'm curious about, about your, what are you thinking about Grid OS and how do you think uh, we're going to start revolutionizing the market together? Yeah, firstly, um, you know, let's go back to the partnership for a second because I, I think this is really an important part. I mean, the, the partnership um, is really important. I think uh, utilities creating broad ecosystem partners is incredibly important right now because we're all venturing in unknown space right, right. now. We're all going into places where we're going to have to extend ourselves in a number of different ways. We need to find partners that uh, can bridge that capability that perhaps we don't have internally. And that means finding specialized skills, especially for the complexity as the, as the grid and the grid demands of the grid becomes uh, higher and higher every year due to climate, due to, due to a number of the facts, due to increasing resilience needs. Uh, I'd say our clients are in a, in a spot where they need to find partners that can, um, that can provide specific skills. Um, and specific skills could be around SI, could be around um, advisory work, it could be around software. Right. And finding the best of breed players that can provide uh, those skills um, across a whole host of things that I think is incredibly important. Um, the other thing I would say, say about that is the, there's a significant talent gap, uh, right. not just within all industries, but specifically within utilities. And utilities are really struggling to find uh, people to perform their bread and butter capital, capital work. And I'd say creating those ecosystem partnerships where utilities can go out and find the right partners to do things that perhaps is not the core part of right. the business is incredibly important. Um, I would say in terms of Grid OS and um, the product, I think the thing I'm most excited about is you are creating, you know, you're creating a platform that allows you to create, uh, to create a backbone or a foundation from everything from generation management systems to ADMS to uh, DERMS to SCADA, all the way to um, all the way from the generation aspect all the way to the customer aspect, and bringing that in as a single platform going right. end to end, I said something I believe is um, in, very important for this industry, and being able to hang off different applications the basic applications and the more sophisticated applications on, on that platform is incredibly powerful and it's going to be incredibly beneficial for our collective clients. Absolutely. So Scott, um, on, your, uh, uh, on your comment about building a practice together and having the right capability, uh, especially around getting the time to value for our customers, is so critical. Because if you look at us as a business over the past two decades, uh, we've had, that, had the good fortune of, uh, of being a premier partner any place where energy transition is scaling, we are the partner of choice. Having said that, mm -hmm. almost every place we had to deal with has to, it had to be us as GE turning up now. And that does not scale over a period of time. And uh, having partners such as yourself uh, and the expertise that you bring in, and also not just the expertise on delivery, but also the surround capabilities around project management, organizational change, advisory, are so important because at the end of the day, we are actually taking our joint customers on a, on a, on a transformation journey. And I, I, in the past, I think the requirements have understood because energy there was no energy transition, they were managing a grid. Now with energy transition, there are so many use cases that are emerging, and there are so many use cases that are going to emerge into the future, uh, wherein I think working collaboratively, taking clients through a change management exercise, getting the right advisory and strategy in place is so critical. And we value that these skill sets because these skills are essential to make our customers successful. So, so thank you for that. I want to get on to Grid OS because one thing that we are extremely proud about introducing Grid OS is we, it is the first uh, software portfolio in the world for grid orchestration, right? The, this particular portfolio brings together our collective experiences over the past four decades, right? One of the things that we are trying to do is uh, across capabilities that, like you mentioned, like plan, operate, and transaction, we're trying to build that onto one platform and trying to put this all together. So as you are talking to customers and you see, you hear the word orchestration emerge, 
and I think it's becoming more and more part of the vocabulary. What do you what do you think is orchestration, and why do you think it's important? Yeah, so you know this is perfect timing for this release of GridOS because um, our collective clients right now have a uh, they've got I'd say their their core business, which they understand very well, around SCADA and DMS and EMS. But now they're starting to look at what do I do with uh, the the new world of derms? Uh, what is the new topology is going right. to look like? Where should I start? Should I start with uh, electric vehicles or should I start with another, you know, uh, renew on-site renewables? And there's a lot of, I'd say, confusion right now in the marketplace as to kind of how, how and where to start. So it's not as cut and dry as some of the other right. applications that hang off the GridOS platform. And I think one of the things that we can work to, together to do is really to help advise our clients as to the where's the you know what's the right place, the right technologies, the right uh, you know, the right topologies. All of those things require a significant amount of, or at least some amount of study, thoughtful study, uh, before we before we go ahead and just screw in the software. So we're really excited about those opportunities to work with you to help our clients really understand and get to a more clarity around some of the new parts um, and emerging parts of the business. Uh, Scott, absolutely right, Lamek. This is something that is so exciting for us, uh, and especially having partners uh, such as yourself uh, be part of this journey with us is important because as, as you're going through this uh, journey, this journey is also about learning, right? Because energy transition, like I said, it's a team sport, but this game is just being played, and this game is going to be played for a while. And we have to like learn together on what are the new capabilities that we need to bring to market, and those are not necessarily software capabilities, but they're also capabilities that are on advisory, uh, they're also capabilities that are on change management, because there will be new methods and new ways of doing, uh, doing work. And that is something that we are absolutely excited to, uh, to work with you. Yeah. Scott, want to like finally close on one particular topic, as you look at our partnership coming together, what are you most excited about? Yeah, I mean, here's what I'm most excited about. I'm, I'm excited to change the world together. And I, I truly believe we have an opportunity. We have two opportunities. One, we have an opportunity to accelerate the energy transition together. And, and I believe, I truly believe that uh, providing greater resiliency in both of our uh, both our transmission and our electricity grid is the most important and may perhaps the most understated part right. of the transition. And uh, without that, um, I, I think this this transition stalls. I believe if by teaming and creating the formulating the right partnerships, we have an opportunity to accelerate the energy transition and put us right on, right on the uh, put us back on the right track. Um, in terms of resilience, um, new business models, and the transition itself. Scott, absolutely exciting, right? And, and Scott, when I look at the partnership with Accenture, I, I look at it in two ways. One is the sheer value that we, as we come together, we are able to bring to our collective customers because customers need, need a lot of capabilities to drive resiliency and reliance. And I, I think together we are a perfect complement uh, to get this together. The second thing that I see is extremely valuable it's also the fact that as we, as uh, GE and G Grid Software are doing our transformation, learning from you, because I think you, there's a lot of uh, work uh, and that Accenture does at scale, and I see also this as a learning opportunity for us, us as a business to transform. So, so Scott, thank you uh, for your time. Thank you for the partnership. Mahesh, thank you very my, much. my pleasure. Great to be here and great to partner with you. Thank you. Thank you, team. Thank you very much. This was us live from Distributed Tech 2023.